Hi there, I'm that goth guy, and you're probably here because you've got washed out colours when it comes to the Elgato with your streaming software. And this turns out to be an issue with NDIS. Now, it's a case of the Elgato will output a signal, but the signal can't match the colours, so the colours aren't matched. Um, what you actually need to do is you need to update your Elgato software. You need to make sure that you've got NDIS plugin installed for your relevant um, software. I'll put links below so that you know exactly what you're looking for. And then you need to remove your source from your streaming software, add a new NDIS source, and then select the capture card for the NDIS source. Now, the bad news is with this, you have to have the 4K capture software open. And it has to stay open in the background. So you want to open that before you add the source. You'll see the source. You can add the source in. You can turn off all the colour bleeding and turn on all the colour matching. And boom, you'll get full colour. Then you can mess with it to your heart's content. But you will get almost true HDR at that point. And that is an issue with the 4K capture cards and the way that it downscales to the 1080p. And downscales from HDR to non-HDR. But it's simulated HDR when it comes to the output that goes to the computer. So have a look at the links below. If this has helped you, give us a thumbs up, give us a follow. Come on to Mixer and watch me stream and you'll see what the quality is like before you actually do it. So uh, yeah, I've been that goth guy. Thanks for watching and out.